This is a really exciting day, not just for Melbourne, but for the whole of Victoria, because this document is a document about the future of our great state, the future of our great capital city, but it's also about the future of regional and rural Victoria and the balance between growth of Melbourne and growth in regional and rural Victoria. We set out to create a strategy that is not only understood by Melburnians and Victorians, but absolutely owned by those Melburnians and Victorians because they've had their chance to, to have their say and participation in this process. It defines the type of city Melbourne will be, but it's based on the type of city we want Melbourne to be. It identifies the infrastructure, the services and the major projects that are needed to underpin that growth. This strategy sets a permanent urban growth boundary which will protect high value agricultural areas, manage the growth in urban fringes and support greater growth in our regional cities. Through the strategy we'll be articulating a pipeline of city shaping infrastructure projects vital for Melbourne and Victoria's future. Projects like the regional rail project which will improve services from regional rural Victoria and improve services on our metro lines in the western and northwest. The East West Link, which fills that missing link between the end of the Eastern Freeway and City Link and gives us both a southern uh, route around Melbourne and a northern route around Melbourne. Absolutely essential and links the port to the Western Ring Road and to the eastern suburbs. The Port of Hastings, so we can cater for the growth of trade, both imports and exports and of course the metro rail capacity project to give us increased capacity on our rail system for both metro services, V-line services. We as Melburnians and Victorians absolutely love Melbourne. It's about retaining the characters that we love, retaining the advantages we love and catering for the growth of the future in a planned and appropriate way. Ladies and gentlemen, as the Premier said, Plan Melbourne has a number of key elements which are worth mentioning. Most central to this document, apart from any other planning document in the city's history, is the focus on creating a state of cities. This document is serious about ensuring that Melbourne is not just going to be a great big city state, that we are serious about activating regional Victoria, both in population and economic and job growth. And that is going to be so important to the sustainable future of this state. We are defining new growth corridor areas. We are defining new urban renewal precincts. We'll be monitoring open space. We'll be putting forward a new mechanism to achieve greater levels of open space, both in existing suburbs and in growth areas. We're looking forward to job generated projects in our outer suburbs. We'll work with government for a whole of government approach to affordable and social housing where it's needed most. There'll be five new metropolitan sub-regions for local government, so that we've got a regional approach to city planning as we do with regional planning. This document, unlike any other metropolitan planning strategy, has an implementating authority, a body that will implement it from its very start, that will oversee the guidance and implementation of a metropolitan planning policy through a new metropolitan planning authority. And that body in itself will be so important not just in land use planning, but in identifying for the state government where population is growing, where infrastructure may be necessary, and providing that advice back to government for the decision making that will come from government. Ladies and gentlemen, comment will close on Plan Melbourne on the 6th of December. The document will ultimately be implemented on Wednesday the 1st of January 2014. The document we have got to today is one that I believe will well and truly stand the test of time and it's a document that by far and away says beyond all other capital city plans for this country that Melbourne is again leading Australia when it comes to good planning, sustainable planning, long-term planning and building a vision for our state that is one that we can all be proud of. Thank you very much. <laughs>